Good morning, all of you. So as we know that in last class, uh, we derived the law of conservation of momentum. So what is the formula for law of conservation of momentum? Anybody can tell? Momentum before collision, which is equals to what? Momentum after collision. After collision. So if unless the external force is acting, the momentum before collision of the two bodies, which is equals to momentum after collision. This is what the derivation which we have been derived uh, when the two bodies are moving in the same direction with the different velocities and different mass. We have derived this one with the help of Newton's uh, second law and as well as with the help of Newton's third law. Is it yes or no guys? Yes please. And also that yesterday I taught you the applications of Newton, uh, sorry, applications of law of conservation of uh, uh, applications of law of conservation of uh, uh, momentum. So the first one we studied uh, regarding rockets, rockets and uh, jet aeroplanes. Yes or no, guys? The rocket and uh, aeroplanes, how they are uh, uh, moving. And same way, the second example, what we studied, applications of that one. First one is rocket, jet, and aeroplanes. The second one is what? Recoil of a gun. Do you remember? Yes, please respond. So recoil of a gun. So recoil of a gun, what is the formula we studied? Anybody? Danishkar, recoil of a gun, what is the formula we studied? Momentum of the bullet is equal to what? Momentum of the bullet, which is equal to what, guys? Momentum no. of the gun. Yeah, momentum of the gun. So that is what we used to call it as recoil of the gun. So in this case, what do you mean by recoil? The backward velocity or the movement of gun when the bullet is fired is only called as recoil. So what is the formula for movement of the bullet? Mass of bullet into velocity of bullet, which is equals to what? Mass of gun into recoil velocity of the gun. Is it yes or no, guys? This is what we did in the last class. Yes, please. Everyone? Yes, sir. As I told you in the today's class, let us discuss, we are going to discuss something that is what, uh, for example, uh, all of you remember, if you want to find the uh, for, for a recoil velocity of the gun, for example, then directly I will modify the formula into like this. Observe very carefully. I want to find the recoil velocity of the gun. So then what is the formula will turn? Anyone? Recoil velocity of the gun. Please respond. What is the formula? Recoil velocity of the gun. Recoil velocity of the gun is equal to what is the formula will turns? Which is equals to mass of the bullet into velocity of the bullet divided by what? Mass of gun. Is it okay, Harry? Ready? Please. Because mass of the gun is extra, it is in multiplication. We'll come this side. What will become? It will turns into division. That's all. So if you want to find the mass of the bullet. Understanding our recoil velocity of the bullet, whatever it is, you have to do it like this way. Is it okay? Kaushik, Danishkar, Akilan, everyone. So, this is what the formula to calculate what, guys? Recoil velocity of the gun. Are you understand, everyone? So, that is what you have to remember. Now, today's class, I'm going to say you one is one, one of the most important thing which is not there in our book and all. That is what? Explo explosion, what? Explosion of? A bomb. Okay, please all of you keep reading. The explosion of a bomb. This is the third application. Of course, it's the same. The explosion of a bomb. Shall we start? Now. Yes. Bomb. You all people know what will happen, bomb. It will burn and it will produce us. It contains so many chemicals. So when it will uh, burn, it will blast or burns, explosion. So many harmful gases will release and as well as uh, heat energy, huge amount of heat energy will release. Is it yes or no? Yes, please. Yes, that is what, what we yes, used to sir. call as bomb. Yes. Now, let us study what is the application of uh, this uh, explosion, explosion of a bomb. That is what law of conservation of momentum. Now, let consider a bomb mass is m which is at rest which is at what which is at what which is at rest understand so i'm all of you should remember let mass of a body let mass of a bomb which is equals to what m and which is at what now 
which is at rest which is at what rest are you understanding so which is at rest means what is the velocity velocity is equals to what zero meter zero. so that total momentum become what momentum is equal to zero kilogram meter per second is it yes or no yes please respond all of you everybody will you accept it or yes. not yes, yes now so before blasting or before explodes what about the momentum before explodes what is the momentum before explodes momentum is equals to what zero kilogram meter per second is it right or wrong that is what because body bomb is in what bomb is in state of rest so before explosion before before explode okay so what is the moment of the bomb everyone zero kilogram meter per second it is having mass but now once it will explode all of you observe it will happen into how many pieces it will be single piece or it will become into different different pieces number of pieces everyone yes. so at rest it explodes into number of pieces of masses each piece is having same mass or different mass ready hari gokul anybody yes when it explodes when it when it explodes when it explodes into explodes into number of pieces of number of pieces of what is that individual mass how we can represent number of pieces of masses we can take it how many pieces it will become any count 1 2 3 4 like that or it will become so many number of pieces akilan so it will become into so many number of pieces that is why we can consider m1 comma m2 comma m3 comma so on till what till mn what is that till mn it will be keep on moving so because we don't know how many pieces it will become so till how many pieces it will become till mn pieces and their velocities tell me is it each piece will travel with the same velocity no sir after blasting so its velocities will become what its velocity is become v1 comma v2 comma and so on till where vn any doubt anyone till here yeah. that's fine no, vn respectively now the explosion is caused due to the internal forces what is the force what is the reason behind explosion The explosion will cause it because of what? The explosion yeah. is due to the what? Due to internal forces. Please, all of you remember, internal forces of chemicals. So now, if you notice it, the external force on the bomb is zero. So its linear momentum, or before explosion, is equals to the total linear momentum after all the pieces after explosion. Is it right or wrong? No external force is acted. So that momentum before is equals to momentum after. Is it right or wrong? Yes, please. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. so because we are not we are not exerting external force on the bomb so whatever the momentum is having before explosion which is equals to what momentum after explosion that is what so the external force on the bomb is zero so its linear momentum before explosion is equals to what total linear momentum of all the pieces after explosion so now as we already know before momentum what is the explosion we all people know before before uh, explosion what is the momentum just now i thought zero, zero equals to the total momentum after explosion of all the parts tell me what is that m1 v1 plus m2 v2 plus so on till where it is till m n plus m n m n v n so this is also total is equals to what total is equals to what zero only. understanding so after explosion that is what everybody should draw out so the external force on a bomb is zero so its linear momentum or momentum before explosion is equals to the what before explosion is equals to the what total momentum of all the pieces after explosion is it right or wrong yes please respond that is what we have to learn in the case of bomb so whatever it is the explosion is taking place because of internal forces 
That is why the total momentum of a bomb system before explosion, which is equal to total momentum of a momentum, total momentum of a body particles of different masses after explosion. Both are equal or not? Yes, please respond. So before yes. explosion and after explosion, yes, finally momentum become what? Finally, momentum becomes zero only. Okay, everybody? Zero. So that is what you have to remember it. So this is what about in the case of bomb, bomb explosion. So bomb explosion, you have to remember momentum. What is that? Unless there is no external forces acting on the bomb, then it's linear momentum before explosion, which is equals to momentum of all the pieces after explosion. That is what you have to remember. Everybody, will you remember Bitakshri, Kaushik? Danishkar, that is what you have to remember. Now, let us take your uh, favorite gun, KGF. What is a gun? Kalashika. Do you remember? Mission gun. Everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Now, mission gun. What is the specialty of mission gun? Let's take a mission gun. This is also one of the examples. If we take, let a mission gun, let's take a mission gun. What is the advantage of mission gun? Multiple number of bullets. The bullet, normal, uh, normal rifle. One time if will press the trigger, how many bullets will come? Girls, boys, anybody? One, sir. Please. One bullet. One bullet only. But if we'll take the mission gun, one time if will press, how many bullets will come? So many bullets will come. Yes or no? Yes, please respond. Yes, All of you. Now, if you'll observe very carefully, a rifle if will take, it will be exiting only one bullet for one time. Is it SR now? Everyone? Only single bullet will come. Single bullet will come for each time. Is it S? Everyone? Yes? Okay. But if we'll take the mission gun, yes. it will it will release us n number of bullets which is having different masses. No, sorry, same masses, but it will move with a different velocities. Is it SR now? KGF you can watch. Different day. One time if he is pressing, so many bullets are coming. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is. So that is what. So if you take a mission gun, fire N bullets. Mission gun, fire how many bullets? N bullets. N bullets. Is it having same mass or different mass? Because same gun current. Having N bullets. Uh, fire N bullets having mass M. Understanding? N bullets. Each of mass how much? Each of mass M. Each of mass M. And the bullets are coming from the same gun. Its velocity is same or different. Hurry. With a velocity V. That is what? With a velocity V. All of you should remember. Let's take a mission gun, fire N bullets, each of mass M with a velocity V. Okay. In a time interval T. In a time interval, what? In a time interval T. All of you observe. Then, to hold the gun in the same position, the force is required or not? Because so many bullets are coming. Suppose if you are not holding the mission gun, is it possible to fire it continuously? All of you? Yes, please. No. So, it will exert a lot of... Uh, uh, reaction force. Yes, all of you others have you understand or not? Arun Kailas, not at all speaking. Leave from the meeting. No issues. Danishkar also. Have you understand, Akilan? So, suppose you can take a mission gun. One time, as we know that, if one bullet is coming out, it is exerting some force. That is what we are calling recoil velocity. What we used to call? Recoil yeah. velocity. Recoil velocity. You have to hold the gun perfectly. If not, gun will fall down from our hand. Now, same way, if we'll take like a kg of Kalashika gun, so many bullets are coming for a given time period. So they will exert so much of force or not, backside, reverse force. Yes or no? So that is what? So in yes, time interval, they will exert so much amount of force. So to hold the gun, mission gun, we need to calculate the force. That force we can calculate the with the help of formula that is what how much amount of force is required is that that is what to hold the what the force is required for what to hold the gun in the same position 
understanding the force can be exerted f is equals to observe very carefully write it to hold the gun in the same position to hold the gun in the same position to hold the gun in the same position the force to be exerted is the force to be exerted is is it reaction or reaction bullets are moving forward we can say action now bullets are exiting we have we have to hold the gun so is it action or reaction everyone yeah. it is reaction hold the gun reaction. hold the gun is a reaction so is it minus or plus minus, minus or plus minus. reaction minus minus so minus of number of bullets what is the number of bullets name we have chosen number of bullets what is that n into mass of the bullet m into velocity of the bullets v divided by time period so this is what the required force to hold the gun in the position we can calculate like this means the number of bullets coming for in a given period of time and what is their masses and their velocity v. is it okay everybody yes please respond this is what we have to remember okay what is the force required to hold that gun if it is is a mission gun how many how many things are there how many bullets are coming what is the mass of each bullet and with a velocity v if you multiply you will get it the required force to hold the gun in the particular same position is it okay everyone have you understand mitakshri danishkar arun kailas yes please note it down this is what to hold the gun in a same position when uh, so many number of bullets are coming in a given period of time each one is having a mass m and velocity v please do it fast until here any doubt anybody ask me so this is what as i said this is also application of what law of conservation of momentum only so everything you can take rockets jet aero, jet planes understand as well as uh, if we'll take uh, even the cars okay moving whatever if are taking so everything will come under this only so applications are law of conservation of momentum only all the things will come the recoil velocity of the gun everything will be the same thing okay everyone have you understand yes please yes sir yes yeah. sir till here all of you completed fastly so this is what for example future if you want to find the uh, force required to hold the gun in the same position to fire very fastly then you can calculate by using this formula so m means here it is, is it the mass of all the bullets or only one bullet mass of one bullet only keep in mind that understand mass of one bullet each mass is m next with a velocity v that is also velocity of the bullet same so you have to consider v that is what so this is all about that any doubt anybody can ask me. clear all of you yes sir. yes now if it is clear all of you open page number 71 and all of you write sample problem one in our classwork write sample problem one in our classwork now we are going to solve that question so let's solve everybody yes sir yeah now you can see that i'll display the question now you also need to copy so this is what the question which is given in our textbook sample problem one can you see that everybody yes sir yeah all of you anybody can read this question only let me see arun can read arun read the question or akilan or danishkar any one of you read a bullet of mass 10 gram is fired from a gun of mass 6 kg yes. with a velocity of 300 meter per second. Yeah. Calculate the recoil velocity of the gun. Recoil velocity of the gun. Very good. Now, as we know, recoil velocity of the gun means we know the formula. Arun, can you say the formula? Recoil velocity of the gun formula? Even today also I told you. Please tell me. Mr. Arun, can you hear me? I'm asking you recoil velocity of the gun formula. Gokul. Danishkar. Even today also I taught. 
Okay, what is the conservation of momentum of a recoil velocity of the gun? Formula hurry. Ready? Moment, uh, momentum of the bullet, which is equal to what? Momentum of the gun. That is what we know that. So momentum of the bullet is equal to what? Mass of the bullet into velocity of the bullet, which is equal to mass of the gun into velocity of the gun. I'm removing the both uh, Arun Gailash and Danishkar. You can leave from the meeting. No problem. I don't want anyone. If you are not speaking, I cannot. I am not uh, responsible for that. Very, very bad. It is. Danishkar also. No issues. I don't have any problem. Is it okay, guys? So mass of the bullet is equal to what? Mass of the bullet is equal to mass of the gun. Okay. Now, what is the mass of the bullet formula? Mass of the mass of the bullet is how much they have given? Given question sheet, everyone, Mitakshri. What is the given data? Mass of the bullet is equal to how much? 10 grams. 10 grams. 10 grams. Now, our next velocity of the bullet. You just check it, velocity of the bullet, how much they have given. In the figure also they mentioned. What is the velocity of the bullet? 300. 300, 300, 300 meters per second. Same way. Mass of the gun, how much? Check it, everyone. Mass of the gun. Mass of the gun is 6 kg. Now, they are asking recoil velocity of the gun. So, recoil velocity means what? Vg. Is it SR now? Everyone. Yes, please. Yes, yes, but one thing you remember, here you can see one unit is in kilogram, one, is, one unit is in CGS unit, one unit uh, remaining all in SI unit. Is it possible to substitute? That is what my question. Is it possible to no, substitute? Sir. No. So, no, the mass of the bullet we have to convert into grams. So, 10 grams is equal to how many kilograms? 10 into 1 gram. So, we know that 1 gram is equal to how many kilograms? 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kilogram. Is it right or wrong? Yes. yes sir. So that is what? Yes. 10 into 1 by 1000 kilogram. So if we'll get cancelled, 0, 0 will get cancelled, which is equal to 1 by 100 kilogram. So 1 by 100 kg means what, guys? 1 by 100 kg means what? 0.01 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. kilogram. 0. What you have to remember it. Okay. Now all are in SI unit or not? Mitakshri, Kaushik, you also same thing. If not responding, no need. I don't want. Because I want to see the improvement. That is what. So now 0. 0.01 kilogram. Now substitute in the formula. We want Vg. Now Vg is equal to what? Today also I said, whenever you want to calculate recoil velocity, direct formula. Well, a recoil velocity of the gun is equals to mass of the bullet into velocity of the velocity bullet, of bullet divided by mass of the gun time period mass of the gun ready no time period okay that is what so now you can calculate it you can substitute it everybody so velocity of the gun is equals to you can notice it so sorry recoil velocity mass of the bullet 0 0.01 into velocity of the bullet Velocity, 300 meter per second. 300 meter per second. You can take units also so that you can show cancellation. 0 0.01 kilogram divided by mass of the mass of the gun. 6 kg. So 6 kg, 6 kg will get cancelled. Yes or no? Yes, everyone? Yes, now. 0 0.01 into 300. Everybody multiply and tell me. 0 0.01 into 300, which is equals to 3, I think. 3 by 6. 3. Yes, sir. So that is what? If you multiply that, you will get 300. Two digit before, you can give the decimal. So, 3 meter per second divided by 6. Now, 3 ones are 3 how much? 3 twos are. So, which is equals to 0. So, what is the recoil velocity of the gun? 0. 0. 0. 0.3 meter per second. Mention recoil velocity velocity of the gun is 0 0.5 meter per second. That's all. Now, textbook answer verify. Is it right or wrong? Tell me. Everybody. Mr. Kaushik, have you understood this question? Gokul, Akilan? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, what sir. is the textbook answer? Check it and tell me. What is the velocity?
Everyone completed? Yes, sir. Do it. Everyone see, remember, if you are not communicating, there is no not needed for my class because I want improvement, everybody's. Whether you are understanding or not, how I can know. Simply you are taking offline class itself, people will be like this. With me, everyone should respond and everybody should involve in the class. Have you solved, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Next. Next example, right, in your textbook. You have next example. Let me see who will solve. Next example, sample problem two. Everybody, take the sample problem two. Sir, you want to write the question, or, sir? Yeah, you have to write. Yes, sir. Everyone, write it and make it okay. That is, see how beautifully they have given the question. You can, uh, you can uh, see that. Everyone, that is what. Clear. Now, can you read the question, Kaushik? Yes, please. Yes, sir. The car a yeah, mass of 1,500 kg traveling at 25 meter per second. Yeah. College with another car B. It's not. Collide means what? The hitting. Sariya. Collide. Collide means accident. That is what hitting you can see. Is it hitting or not? Backside. Do you remember? Yesterday we did have a lot of conservation of momentum, the same thing actually. Now, yeah, do it now. With another car V of mass, 1000 kg traveling at 15 meters per second in the same direction. Yes. After, no. After collision, the velocity of the car A becomes how much? 20 meters per, meter per second. Now calculate, calculate the, the velocity, velocity of, of the car V, v after 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 collision. The, after the collision. Very good. Now, Gokul, now which formula we have to use? Use law of conservation of momentum. Is it yes or no? Everyone, please tell me the first. Two cars they have given. You can see two cars they have given. Given data. Also tell me. Given data you can take. What is the car A now? Car A. Let me take car A. And this is what? Car B. Now observe very carefully. One minute, I will share the link to, uh, to him so that let him uh, participate. And now, everyone see what is the given data? Tell me. Car A. Car A, what is the initial velocity? Everyone, before collision, you have to mention very carefully. Car A before collision, everyone should tell me. Before collision, car B also before collision and after collision, everything you have to tell me. Yes, please. What is the initial velocity? Car A has a mass of, let me take mass M1. M1 is equals to 1,500 kilogram. Traveling with a what velocity? Check it, everybody. Traveling with the what velocity? 25 meter per second. Yeah, initial velocity U1 is equals to 25 meter per second. Now, after collision, after collision, what will happen? You have to tell me. After collision, after collision, what is the velocity they have given? Mass is remains constant. M1 is equals to 15, 1500 kilogram. Velocity also they have given. V1 is equals to C. After collision, car A becomes what is the velocity? 
20 meter per second. Is it yes or no? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is what? Any doubt? Now, same way, tell me the car B. Car B details, Mr. Rakilan. Car B before collision. Yes. Yeah. Car B before collision. Mass can assume as a what? M2. What is the mass of this car two guys? Thousand kilograms. Now initial velocity U2 is equals to 15 meter per second. 15 meter per second. Now after collision, after collision, Mr. Kaushik, car mass. After collision, car mass is remains same. That is what thousand kilograms. Okay. Now what is the velocity? V2 is equals to it is equal to we don't know that is what we have to find it is it yes or no yes sir yes or no yes sir, yes, sir. yeah make it yes, do it Everyone do fast. Any doubt you can ask him. Clear any doubt given data? No, sir. Hmm. Do it. Once it is over, now by this time you can understand the problem. What is that? Sir, found the answer, sir. Yeah. 22.5 meters per second, sir. Yeah. Same, sir. What? Same, sir. Completely, sir. Mm, okay. Others? Okay. Do it fast now. Clear any doubt anybody can ask? So we have to find the final velocity. Is it S? Yes, sir. Right or wrong? Now what is the formula? Tell me. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 which is equals to M1 V1 plus V2 M2 V2. M2. Now we want to find what? What is unknown quantity for us now? V2. Only V2. V2. Now let me take how to do it. See, it will solve in a different methods. You can find M1 U1 separately, M2 U2 separately, M1 V1 separately, and you can substitute it. It's not a big deal. Do you understand everyone? Or else directly I will substitute it. That is also you'll get the answer. Is it okay, Gokul? Are you understanding, Ra? That is what. So directly you can modify the formula. Now I want V2. Now forget about this one. Now this term is in addition. Will come this side. What will become? It will become a subtraction. subtraction. That is what. Directly I will go. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 minus M1 V1. Yes or no? Which is equals to M2 into V2. Now I want V2. What is extra here? What is extra here? M2. M2. M2 will come this side. What will become? It is multiplication. Will come this side. Division. So M1 U1 plus M2 U2 minus M1 V1 divided by what? Divided by M2, which is equals to V2. Remember here, Kaushik, if you are feeling difficulty to find, do you understand it? Individually, you can find it and you can substitute in this formula. You will get the answer. Is it okay? Yes, please. That is what 